Should we make should we make the ultimate camera rig? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Yeah, come then. Hi guys, so you're talking about China. <sighs> Olivia is a crazy fool. Now the he Hey guys, so it's um, it's like it's like Monday, Tuesday, day four of the um, South isolation, and oh, we're all yeah. going a little crazy. If anyone can send help, please send it to PO Box. Help me. P B E. Yeah. At least I've done some upgrades Ooh. to the studio today, which I'll show yeah, you. Yeah, we're doing the updates on the studio today. Which I'll show you in a minute. But I'll show you in a minute. Are you copying me? No. I think you are copying me. No. I think you are. I think you are. I think you are. I think you are. Hi guys, about new China. Wait, what do you keep saying about China for? Because we're talking about we're going to turn it all there. So I, um, I done a video a little while ago about a new microphone and in that video I teased about doing a, an ultimate camera rig and the plan was build it, put it all together, show you what I was doing, all the components and why and what they were for. But after I built it, it was quite a pain in the bum and I didn't want to have to build it all again. So I had planned to kind of forget about the ultimate rig video, but uh, I had a requirement to get access to the camera that's on this ultimate rig. <laughs> So I thought, seeing as I'm taking it apart, might as well tell you what's on my rig, basically. What was kind of driving the, the de-assembly of said rig was this, my teleprompter. I wanted to get this hooked up to the rig so it was a permanent fixture, but there was lots of screws and brackets and things that don't fit on my current rig. So I need to kind of jerry-rig so that this can sit in front of this and kind of then become the ultimate rig. What we have here is a cage. This is the small rig cage for the A7 III and sat inside of that cage is said Sony A7 III with a 24 to 105 lens. I put it in a cage because the cage gives you all these little extra nooks and screws and mounting plates to be able to add attachments to it. Added to this cage today, this handle, which I took off because it was a little bit wobbly. And we now have this handle, which as you can see is a lot more sturdy. On this side, we have a small rig wooden handle. So if I did ever need to carry this handheld, got a handle here and a handle here to be able to hold it because as I said it's pretty heavy especially with this huge thing on the back and this is a D-tap battery and a V-mount mounting plate and it's called a V-mount battery because it has a shape like a V and it gives me various different outputs so that the camera, the microphone input, and the monitor, and um, it allows all of those devices to be powered off of this one battery, which lasts forever. So that's kind of my ultimate rig. There is an addition which is being added to it, which is this, the Elgato HD60S, and this allows me to take the output of the camera straight into a computer for live streaming. Because we are mid-corona virus pandemic, and I need to conference with a big large group of customers to be able to do like a live presentation but first I need to continue putting this together which will involve moving the camera along putting the teleprompter on it seeing how we get on so let's just go to a little bit of a time-lapse mode of that before I show you the rest of the studio upgrades <laughs> right parts mount this plate like that without a little bit of DIY for which I suck at. Mm, wise one you are. Find solution you will. In quarantine I've started to watch the Star Wars movies. Fact, I've never seen Star Wars. Think I may have found a solution that doesn't require any jerry rigging. Right, 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 right. So whilst now this is kind of pretty perfect really, the issue is that the lens can't zoom in or out. That's not the problem. The problem is, can you see on the screen 
I can see this entire mount thing in the way. Right, I feel I'm only gonna understand the problem if I build the teleprompter as it should be, because I never had the issue with this being in the camera lens before. That'll give me an idea of then how to mount this plate. I think I may have had one of those eureka moments. So this is how the teleprompter works normally. So you can see here, put the camera down, this platform here is dropped down lower and the camera's raised up. So that stops the camera seeing the plate, the problem that we were seeing before. I've basically been looking at it all wrong. The camera goes on there at the moment, it's too high. So this doesn't need to get mounted to the rails. The rails need to get mounted to the bottom of this. And then hopefully I still be able to see the monitor. Ah, uh, I think I may have cracked it. Right, no more time lapses because you've probably seen about 50,000 of them. So I'm gonna get this done and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how the rest of the studio has been upgraded. Two hours later. Okay, there we go. It's been some time and we have a solution. Tripod plate, rods for V-mount, handle, handle, and most importantly, the bit we were trying to get on from the beginning, the plate, which will now sit like this. The camera is thus raised and doesn't see the teleprompter tray in the lens. There you go, 85% there. A few moments later. I started at about half past one and it's now five to eight. So here it is, you ready? One, two, three. My cinematic cinema rig. This is now the permanent rig that stays here uh, in the playroom. Let me get this onto the tripod. <coughs> so there we go. Sunday's video brought to you by camera gear in the playroom. And before anyone asks how much it cost, it cost my soul, my soul, my blood, sweat and tears have gone into this space. So yeah. There you go, Sunday is over. Moving on to week two of self-isolation, or rather social distancing. So, let's see what I'll come up with next. So don't forget to like and subscribe the video, it really does help. Let me know any comments, questions, or feedback in the box below, anything you'd like to see later. And until the next video, which I'm currently scripting on my iPad, ready to put on the teleprompter, because it's a serious-ish one. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, internet. So yeah, goodbye. Goodbye, internet. Little pit. Put this chain on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on me. Why they throwing shade on me, like they all shame on me. I thought what it